Hi there, I'm Peter Millard and this is 10 Minute Workshop, where 10 minutes in the workshop is never enough. In the workshop this week, we're continuing with our exploration of the big job of mine and uh, we're carrying on with a tall tower unit and some of the shelves and cabinetry there. It's coming up next. So I'm about to start making up the long, sort of tall end sections. Uh, to these bookcases. Uh, these are obviously the uprights, they've all been made and painted now. Uh, and the first, before we get those all together, we need to get the cabinets into the face frames at the base. Uh, the face frames, I've done a dry fit on these. Uh, these have been painted on, on both sides, so it's all looking pretty good. Uh, I've done a dry fit on these and we've got a little pencil mark as to where the uh, uh, where the camera is going to go. Uh, I'm fitting these with pocket hole screws, there's dominoes at the bottom and we'll put a, a, a base in as well. Um, but because these are kind of freestanding, they don't need a, a plinth in there. I'm securing these in place with pocket holes just because I find it easier to do that than to try and match dominoes within a face frame like this. Uh, I don't use pocket holes very much. Uh, I don't use pocket holes very much. I don't like them much. Um, uh, but one of the irritations with them that I have is that the a regular bit holder doesn't fit into the to the pocket. Uh, so I've got a couple of uh, these sort of uh, slim driver bits that fit my driver and go all the way in there. The, the really irritating thing about doing extended sort of location uh, install type work out of the workshop basically is that all your gear gets messed up and I've only just got everything back for a week or so. I thought I'd got everything organised. Uh, I've got half a dozen of these and I only find this one. This is the one that I keep here. So I've got, you know, however many, four or five other ones spread around the kit somewhere. Uh, it's that sort of stuff that drives me crazy. You know, you, you have the, the whole job stalling because you can't find a, a single, you know, fiver's worth of driver bit. Um, but anyway, that's, uh, that, that's neither here nor there. We'll, we'll get on with this. Uh, and we'll get this cabinet fitted. We've done one already, and then once this is done and glued up, we can actually start putting the, the taller sort of end units together. I'm using the usual dominoes and glue to attach the cabinet to the face frame, spreading it evenly around the rear edges of the Sapili veneer, then dropping it into place so it lines up with the pencil marks I made earlier. And with everything aligned, I can clamp the base of the cabinet to the face frame. No time using scraps of MDF to protect the paintwork. and then move on to securing the cabinet sides to the face frame with pocket hole screws. And with a final tight nut by hand, I can move the cabinet out of the way. and bring in the tall shelf upright, laying it out on blocks to make it easier for clamping. I taped around the glue edges before I painted, and I'm removing this now to expose the bare MDF. Then dry fitting the upper shelves,
and then the cabinet and face frame assembly, still in its clamps. I must take those off. With the other side section brought in, it's a simple job to settle everything into position, checking for square and making sure all the glue faces mate nicely. Satisfied with all that, I can pull everything apart again and begin the glue up, starting with the cabinet, and then into the upper fixed shelves, making sure there's plenty of glue in that joint. I'm using my standard Poly 10 PVA, so I don't have a lot of time before clamping it up and moving on. Note again how I'm protecting the painted faces with a scrap of Corex around the clamp heads. After a suitable pause, I'm getting ready to attach the other upright. First tapping home the dominoes around the face frame, and then bringing in the upright, slotting it into place like a piece of flat pack. I've already done a dry fit, so what could go wrong? So yeah, not quite the uh, totally straightforward slots together like uh, Lego <laughs> glue up we were hoping for. But it seems to be there, it seems to be remarkably straight according to uh, my mirror square. So yeah, okay. Fingers crossed, uh, we'll leave that to glue up uh, and come back to that in the morning. Um, literally nothing to do with it now. Uh, wait for that glue to set, then we can get on with the bigger one. Uh, and then try and figure out how <laughs> have to move them. I'm going to wait a ton. Uh, yeah. So what on earth happened to that glue up? Um, in short, it was the, the dry fit. What did it? Uh, uh, it's long been a complaint from domino users that the, the dominoes themselves are really tight into the domino mortises, especially with a square end like this. Uh, and what I and a, a lot of people do is I tend to do it when I've got a lot of them to do in one fitting, is put a bevel on the end of the domino like that, just, just rub off the, the sharp edges, so it just goes into the mortise a little bit more easily. Uh, I've referred to this in a, in a few videos in the past. Uh, I didn't do it on this time, uh, I, I didn't do it on this one, because uh, there were only half a dozen dominoes to do, but what actually happened was the, the square end of the domino just graunched uh, the mortises a little bit, made a, a mush of uh, the MDF and that just raised a, a, a burr and stopped the, the pieces going together properly so the whole sticky mess had to come apart, had to clean that out quickly and get it all back together well enough so that I could clamp it up tightly. Um, uh, uh, the, uh, the, the message does seem to be getting through, I got some nine, uh, no eight mil dominoes in a kit recently 
and they are coming pre-bevel, so I don't know if that's a, a new directive or if they all do that and I'm just working on old stock. But either way, uh, the message does seem to be getting through. But that's everything for now. Uh, in the next video, we do the last of the cabinets, uh, and after that we start getting into the installs. So uh, join me then if you can. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.